गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई डॉक्टर प्रदीप कुमार सिंह और वर्किंग एज प्रोफेसर इन वी एन एस ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन फैकल्टी ऑफ फार्मेसी टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वाट इज स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज द टेक्निक इन विच वी स्टडी अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन एंड द मैटर वाट इज मैटर लाइक जस्ट ड्रॉग एनी ड्रॉग एंड वाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशंस so there are different type of electromagnetic radiations and how we can divide the electromagnetic radiations uh, according to their wavelength frequency energy so what are the wavelength what are the frequency uh, uh, what is the energy so today we will discuss about the wavelength frequency energy and wave number and what is the correlation between the wavelength wave number and frequency because every lights have their own wavelength own frequency own energy and own wave number so we we should start uh, from the wave length so what is wave length wave length what is wave length so according to wave theory the every radiations travel like a wave what is wave you see you see in the sea that there are some big waves are coming uh, suppose uh, some days we see that there is small waves are coming so what is waves like if there is a radiation there is a, there is a lamp so when the light is emitted from the lamp and then light will travel like a wave just like this that is wave so this is a wave theory so if that there is a lamp then light is starting from this point and like the light will travel like a wave just like a wave so when the when the one cycle will be completed so this is suppose this is a starting point so when the one cycle this point so this one cycle is completed so this is known as a one wave and what is wave length it means the length of wave is known as a wave length so one wave the length of one wave is known as a wave length and this is known as a crust and this is known as trough so what is wavelength the wavelength is the distance between the two adjacent crust so this is the crust this is the adjacent crust so what is the distance between the one crest to the adjacent crest is known as a wavelength the symbol of wavelength is lambda so this is a one wavelength this is a only either we can say that the wavelength is the distance between the two adjacent trough is known as a wavelength we will not measure the length of wave just like that this not the the length of wave from this point to this point is known as a wavelength so we can measure from one crest to adjacent crest either we can measure by the one trough to the another trough is known as a wavelength and the symbol of the wavelength is lambda and what will be the unit the unit of the wavelength is centimeter other meter other than nanometer because this is a distance so distance can be measured by meter other centimeter other than nanometer but generally we uh, discuss the wavelength in the nanometer because the length of wave is very small so we uh, generally we return the wavelength or uh, uv wavelength the range of uv wavelength is 200 to 400 nanometer because nanometer is very small we will discuss uh, in detail in different videos uh, what is the correlation between the meter and nanometer micrometer and nanometer 
and what is the uh, relation, uh, relationship between the nanometer and, and angstrom. So, these are the correlations. So, what 1 meter uh, is equal to the 10 to the power 9 nanometer or we can say 1 nanometer equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So, this is a very small unit. So, we have to measure the length of UV light in a nanometer and what is the range of UV light that is a 200 to 400 nanometer that is a uh, we can say that is a mid UV or working UV we can say that is a range between 200 to 400 nanometer we have to write in a nanometer either we can say in angstrom also that is 2000 to 4000. So, what is the wavelength of UV light that is a 200 to 400 nanometer that is a, just like that the distance between the uh, one crest to another crest is 200 either we can say 201, 203 the up to the 2, 400 length. So, that is a wavelength. Next point we have to discuss that is the wave number. Another point in a spectroscopy other we can say in a uh, any every spectroscopy we have to discuss the wave number wave number so what is wave number we have discussed the what is wavelength and what is wave so we have to discuss what is the wave number that number of wave itself it is wave number that is a number of wave number of wave, wave in which that is number of wave in a one unit centimeter yeah one unit distance that suppose uh, suppose this is a uh, one centimeter just like that suppose that this is one centimeter and how much waves present at this one centimeter is known as a wave number Okay, suppose just like that the, U, uh, the wavelength of UV light is the 200 to 400 nanometer. Suppose the 200 nanometer. So, 200 nanometer is a one wavelength, one wave. So, two, uh, 200 light, 200 nanometer light is how much light, how much wave is present at that one, one centimeter is known as a wave number. It means what, what, what will be the correlation between the wave number and wavelength? What will be the correlation? That that is that will be the inversely proportional. Why? Suppose there is larger wave is there, so less wave will come into the one centimeter. And there is a small wave is there. The wavelength is very small. A small wave is there. So number of wave present in one centimeter will be more. It means the wave number and wavelength will be inversely proportional. So what this is the symbol of wave number so what will be the wave number that is equal to the 1 upon lambda and lambda is a wave length so wave number equal to 1 upon lambda but we we have to write the wavelength in a centimeter Suppose you want to calculate the uh, wave number of UV light. So, you have to put the wavelength in a centimeter because the unit of wave number is centimeter inverse. So, we have to put the value of wavelength in a centimeter. Suppose, suppose you want to calculate the wave number of 200 nanometer light. So, what will be the wave number? 1 upon 200 into 200 in nanometer but you have to write into centimeter so what will be the uh, we have to write that is 10 to the power that centimeter that is 2 and nanometer 9 it means there is minus 7 centimeter we will discuss later that what is how we can calculate 1 nanometer equal to how much centimeter 1 centimeter equal to how much nanometer but that is 200 to 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter. So, we can calculate that 10 to the power 7 upon 200 
that is and centimeter is in divided so that is centimeter inverse so we can calculate the wave number of that uh, 200 nanometer light now come to the next point third point that is a frequency that is a frequency so what is the frequency of light or a wave that the frequency immune that is frequency equal to c upon lambda frequency equal to c upon lambda what is c c equal to the speed of light speed of light that is that is equal to 2.998 into into 10 to the power 8 meter per second 2.998 either we can say 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second that is a speed of light that is a constant c speed of light and wavelength what is the lambda is a wave length lambda is a wave length so we can calculate the frequency of any light again we can see that the frequency and wavelength what is the correlation between the frequency and wavelength both are inversely proportional to each other because again we can see that c that is the speed of light that is a constant so if we remove the constant we can write that frequency is directly proportional to the one upon lambda either we can say the frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength again if you have the higher wavelength light it means that have a lesser wave number just like that uv uv light have the 200 to 400 nanometer but if we come to the visual light visual light have higher wavelength as compared to uv light so if we calculate the wave number it means the wave number of visual light will be less as compared to the uv light so what is the correlation that the inversely proportional it means what we have studied that wavelength wave number and the frequency and wave number and frequency both are inversely proportional to the wavelength it means if you have longer wavelength light it means it will be the lesser frequency as well as the lesser wave number again the next next terminology that is used in spectroscopy that is very important that is energy that is energy what is the energy energy of light how we can calculate the energy of light that is e e equal to h mu h into mu h into mu h that is a Planck constant and mu is a frequency h equal to that is a Planck constant Planck constant that is a value of 6.26 10 to the power minus 34 the value of Planck constant is 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 that is a Planck constant and the frequency again we can see that the frequency of light is directly proportional to the energy so what will be the correlation between the wavelength and energy so again if we uh, again further discuss here that e equal to h into that frequency we can write the frequency c upon lambda c upon lambda that is a h that is a Planck constant into c upon lambda c is a speed of light and lambda so this is a constant 
Planck constant, this again a speed of light constant. So, energy equal to, yeah, we can say energy is proportional to the 1 upon lambda. Again, we can see that the correlation between the energy of light and energy uh, and the wavelength of light is inversely proportional to each other. Again, the wavelength of visible light is higher than as compared to UV light. It means the energy of visible light will be less as compared to UV light because wavelength and energy are inversely proportional to each other. It means if the wavelength is high, energy will be less and wavelength of visual light is high, uh, higher as compared to UV light. It means energy will be less. So, that we have studied the form terminology that is used in spectroscopy. Okay, visual light, visible light. Visual light is made with the seven color that is the wave zero wave zero and the range of visual light that is a 400 to 800 nanometer 400 to 800 nanometer so that where will be the uv light and where will be the ir light means the UV light is lesser wave number, le yeah, lesser wavelength or higher wavelength. So, we can see there, this is a violet color, that is a violet. So, UV light will just before the violet, that is UV, UV means ultraviolet and red, that is means that IR infrared will just come after the red. So, we can easily remember that UV visible and then IR and we are going we are going this side we are going this side we are going this side by increasing increasing wavelength we are increasing wavelength it means IR have higher wavelength as compared to visible and visible is higher wavelength as compared to UV light. So, we can easily then give the answer that uh, which light will have the higher energy, which light will be higher, the higher wave number or the lesser wave number or lesser energy. We can see that that IR have higher wavelength as compared to visible, visible is higher wavelength as compared to UV. It means the energy of UV light will be higher as compared to visible and the energy of visible light will be higher as compared to IR because energy and wavelength is inversely proportional to each other as well as the wave number as well as the frequency we can easily give the answer because inversely proportional to each other. If we going this side and increasing the wavelength it means we are going to the lesser wave number, lesser energy or we can say the lesser frequency. So, just before the UV light, this come the X-ray and then gamma rays and after the IR, there is a microwaves and then radio waves, radio waves. So, we can easily remember the things. So, these are the terminology uh, used, yeah, we can say uh, these are the different wavelength, wave number, frequency, energy, we can easily calculate, we can easily uh, remember the which light will have the higher energy, which light have will be higher energy, so easily remember by this chart. So, by the next point, the next discussion of the spectroscopy, we will meet in the next video. So, thank you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.